On December 7, 1941, during the infamous attack on Pearl Harbor, Japanese dive bombers and torpedo planes made a significant strategic error that would have lasting implications for their war effort, ignoring the American submarine base. At the onset of the assault, which began around 7.55 a.m., four submarines, USS Narwhal, USS Dolphin, USS Tautog, and USS Cachalot, were docked at the base. The submarine crews quickly sprang into action, operating anti-aircraft guns on their decks. This response marked the first instance of U.S. submarines inflicting damage on the enemy in during the Second World War, a trend that would intensify and critically impair the Japanese merchant and naval fleets. Remarkably, the Narwhal's crew is credited with striking two enemy aircraft, successfully downing one. The Tautog destroyed a torpedo plane, causing it to explode a mere 150 feet from its stern, while the Dolphin is also believed to have shot down an enemy aircraft near the Kakalot, which was undergoing maintenance at the time. All four submarines emerged from the attack unscathed and continued to execute numerous patrols in the Pacific. The Tautog, in particular, distinguished itself by sinking 26 Japanese ships, earning the moniker Terrible T. Admirals Izoroku Yamamoto and Chuichi Nagumo, leading the Japanese Combined Fleet and the First Air Fleet respectively, would later regret their decision to exclude the submarine base from their battle plans. The base became a crucial return point for U.S. submarines throughout the war, often adorned with a broom on the conning tower to symbolize a clean sweep, the successful sinking of every engaged target. U.S. Navy submarines played a pivotal role in the war, sinking approximately 1,300 Japanese merchant ships and 200 warships, including eight aircraft carriers, a battleship, and 11 cruisers, which came to a total of over 5 million tons. The substantial impact of these actions was highlighted by Admiral Harry Harris, commander of the U.S. Pacific Command, PACOM, during the anniversary ceremonies at Pearl Harbor. He emphasized the path to reconciliation that began on the battleship Missouri, where Japan formally surrendered in 1945. Admiral Harris, who is of Japanese descent and was born at the U.S. naval base in Yokosuka, Japan after the war, spoke of his personal connections to Pearl Harbor. His father served aboard the aircraft carrier Lexington, which was assigned to Pearl Harbor but was at sea during the attacks and was later sunk in the Battle of Coral Sea. Under Harris's leadership, PACOM focused on strengthening U.S.-Japan alliances as part of a strategic pivot to the Pacific. He urged a rededication to ensuring future generations inherit the security and peace secured by those who perished at Pearl Harbor, underscoring America's commitment to vigilance and preparedness.